Welcome to Port Broughton. Uh, we're here on a beautiful sunny day to uh, set out on a bit of an exploration of the old Port Broughton to Mundora horse-drawn tramway. It operated from 1876 till 1950 to drag the grain from Mundora, once an agricultural hive uh, further 16 kilometres inland from here. Um, and this line was dismantled in 1950. We're going to go for a bit of a journey on the line and try and uncover anything that remains. Uh, a bit of history, um, we'll see the landscape and we'll uh, end up in Mundora. Um, so stick with us for the next few minutes and enjoy. Back in 1871, the government of the day passed an act for closer settlement and established the port of Port Broughton on Mundora Arm. Channel beacons were erected in 1871 and the jetty was built in 1874 while dredging began in 1877. But the biggest boost was the railway from Port Broughton to Mundora in 1878. The tramway operated as a horse-drawn uphill and gravity-driven downhill tramway until 1926 when a Fordson rail tractor displaced the animal traction. Uh, the railways were contracted out to private operators in 1931 who used it for grain haulage until 1942. The tractor was still on the jetty shunting wagons between the station yard and that jetty until 1949. The rail line was ripped up in 1950. I mean, this is where grain and wool from the surrounding farms was uh, brought in by railway and stacked high for transport down the main street to the jetty and to be loaded onto catches. Um, if you look uh, behind me here, uh, this is the main street of Port Broughton, um, which once had a tramway running down the middle of it, which you would have seen in the photos. I have found evidence of a railway, believe it or not, after all of these years. Can you see this little thing here? I think it's part of an old spike or something like that. Um, let's have a look. You find these all along the old railway lines. Maybe somebody can tell me what it is. So we are, I think, about halfway along uh, the old uh, rail line from Port Broughton to Mundora. Uh, we're walking along um, one of the old embankments constructed for the line. Um, these are one of the things that you can uh, generally see for years after a railway is gone, the embankments uh, and the cuttings, like the one I showed you earlier. Um, we're going to continue on towards Mundora. And because this is going to be likely a very short video, uh, we'll see if we can follow up with some video of some of the railway bridges around um, Crystal Brook and um, Meriton before we finish up. So we're at the, uh, the, the sheds of the, the Mundora Museum now. Um, it's only taken 16 minutes by car to get here. We're a bit longer with a few stops, um, but the horse-drawn tram used to take uh, around about an hour and a quarter. This is one of the uh, flat top rail trucks that was used to carry bags of grain down to the port at Port Broughton. Um, at one time, um, Mundora was one of the biggest wheat receival um, uh, towns in the state, up to 100,000 bags per season. Um, so uh, yeah, we uh, found probably one of the last remaining examples of any of the rolling stock along the Port Broughton to Mundora tramway. And now we're going to go find some bonus content around Crystal Brook, so stick around. <laughs> 